Hi everyone, my name is Tom. I'm today with Radek, our Hello. senior mobile developer in Liwer. And uh, we have today a few questions uh, regarding mobile development and comparison between Xamarin or native development with React Native, which is uh, very, very popular in uh, those days now. Yeah. especially in Scandinavia, where we have few projects. Radek, you are a very experienced developer in native development, in Xamarin development, uh, MVVM Cross and everything around. And also you are involved in React Native projects. So if you uh, would have to compare Xamarin uh, native development with React Native, what uh, is the, the 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 biggest differences? What can you tell us? Well, the main uh, difference is language. Uh, okay, we have uh, C sharp language on the one Xamarin side. On Xamarin, yeah. Yeah, and uh, in React Native, we deal with uh, JavaScript mm -hmm. and uh, CSS. CSS or derivatives of that. Okay, so this is the uh, main difference. Uh, anything else? Yeah, uh, the structure of the project mm -hmm. is different. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, the core part on Xamarin project, in Xamarin projects uh, and data access part. Uh, and then uh, we have also uh, platform parts, Android and iOS mm -hmm. parts, mm -hmm. which use uh, data access and uh, core. So this, uh, let's say, the, 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 the common they share code, this which common is shared code. Between, yes, between, platforms. between platforms, in case of React Native? Uh, we also share the code, but mm -hmm. there is uh, such option to share 100% of code. Mm -hmm. If we go uh, really standard mm -hmm. with no uh, some f uh, fancy uh, maybe it's fancy not, not the good features. word uh -huh. we, uh, the, the app created in in uh, React Native mm -hmm. can be fancy mm -hmm. but should I I think should be uh, standard uh, okay yeah, so we, to, in re in case of React Native we shouldn't uh, think about user interface like pixel by pixel but more to, to be focused on using the standard controls components mm -hmm. uh, because in React it is a bit harder to do more fancy stuff than in Xamarin or Native yeah, where you have full not, control. Maybe not fancy, but custom. Custom, yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. Good. It, it may all may be fancy in, in uh, React Native. Okay, so now the next question. Uh, if, uh, for example, we have uh, a customer who uh, came to us to lure with project and we need to develop, we are going to develop mobile application, but uh, the client didn't decide yet uh, if it should be done in React Native, in Xamarin or in native technologies. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, when we should consider React? native when we should consider other technologies? Well, uh, when the project deals with uh, usual cases like uh, forms, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, some social uh, contents, sharing social contents and mm -hmm. so on, uh, then uh, React Native for sure will be uh, enough. Will be enough or, mm -hmm. or will be a good choice. Mm -hmm. Of course, Xamarin also would be uh, yeah, great. We, we could uh, but probably using that, but I don't mm -hmm. know if, if it wouldn't be uh, uh, too heavy tool to do some simple application. Okay, so if we talk about simple applications uh, with more standard user interface, then we can use React Native. React yeah. Native is a very good choice. If we are going to deal with something more sophisticated or 
we are not sure what will happen in next six months and how sophisticated user interface will be, then it's better to use Xamarin or develop in native, totally native yes. way. Yeah. And uh, okay, so so this is the. Uh, I, I think that this is very very. When you uh, are going to approach, mm -hmm. when when you are going to uh, implement some uh, uh, cases where uh, you use another apps and mm -hmm. connect it to to your app and uh, use uh, some uh, libraries. Uh, uh, which deal with uh, some equipment uh, mm -hmm. on, outside outside of application. Okay. And so, on. so some system or maybe mm -hmm. uh, doing yeah connecting with another systems which are controlling our application. Mm -hmm. Which are controlling the application. Then it's better to use Xamarin. Yes. Because you have better control over yeah. everything. Okay. Uh, Oh, you, but you, I, you but I think uh, uh -huh. if uh, there would be an uh, experienced React Native developer, uh, he could, he or she could uh, right. solve, solve such a problem. Because but in React Native, you can also write custom components which can yeah. be direct, uh, directly connected to the uh, operating system, but then you need some uh, skills in uh, uh, yeah. developing in uh, native uh, technologies, yeah, Kotlin, Java, or or in case of iOS, Objective C or Swift. Yes. Okay. So I don't, I don't, uh, I will not tell that uh, it's impossible, but it's mm -hmm. harder. It's harder. Great. Okay. So the next question, uh, you did. You were involved in many projects in Xamarin, in native development. Uh, now you are more and more in React. So if uh, there is a developer with experience in, let's say, native development, who would like to start developing in React Native, uh, what uh, uh, challenges are uh, in front of? Uh, what uh, would you? What could you advise to such people? Yeah, what they should. Uh, let's say, uh, focus on, consider, or what kind of problems they may, might uh, yeah, see? Yeah, uh, my uh, general advice, mm -hmm. uh, especially for developers who start mm -hmm. uh, playing, dealing with all that, mm -hmm. uh, is not to fix just in one language, just in one technology, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, the situation changes and uh, yeah, new technologies yeah. appear on the market and uh, you can't develop in yeah now. you can you can uh, do something what you do uh, since uh, some time mm -hmm. and uh, you can now do it much faster uh, more precisely mm -hmm. uh, in new technology you shouldn't stay in in your uh, box and and yeah keep your okay. for example your c sharp uh, to your uh, late 80s <laughs> <laughs> or c or even assembler okay great so yeah Radek. so that was mm -hmm. general advice and, general and was uh, to to this uh, what you asked exactly uh, I, I, mm -hmm. I think that uh, these uh, React Native uh, languages are uh, not very difficult for uh, to learn because they um, and their syntax is uh, is the one we know from uh, from very very uh, basic uh, web development, mm -hmm. which uh, it's just is JavaScript, yeah. CSS. Mm -hmm which uh, we may learn in secondary school. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe not You're not so them. young. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we remember how it started before yeah. even mobile development. Yes, yeah. but uh, these languages, uh, people uh, seen some parts of code in that, I think. Mm -hmm. 
not only programmers, but uh, uh, com com uh, people dealing with computers, yeah, from time to time, see the source yeah, of, yeah, of, of course. something. And, okay. and that's it, that's the JavaScript, that's uh, <laughs> CSS, what exactly. they see, and uh, yeah. And uh, it's, it's worth of that, it's uh, the, mm, this what you will uh, get from React Native mm -hmm. is worth uh, of, of this learning. work, of, of this learning. Yeah. learning. Yeah, and also we see it, yeah, that uh, more and more clients are looking for some lightweight, uh, let's say, ways uh, to develop their applications, especially when we talk about uh, minimal, minimal, minimum viable products, the simple apps, which should be developed very fast. And then React Native yeah. is a good choice to, to work with. Yeah, I think I should mention why is it faster? Why? Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so the next question, why mm -hmm. uh, development in React Native is maybe faster, faster yeah. maybe faster than in uh, Xamarin Native or native technologies? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, the main difference in mm -hmm. developing uh, apps in mm -hmm. these uh, two uh, environments mm -hmm. uh, is um, that when you uh, apply some changes in code uh, in Xamarin, uh, if you would like to see mm -hmm. that uh, what you got in, in your app, you mm -hmm. have to rebuild it. Okay. And, and it takes some time. Okay. Of course, a faster computer will do it uh, faster. <laughs> yeah, in, in shorter time. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's always about two minutes, mm -hmm. yeah, a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when, when you're waiting mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. looking at the progress bar. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. React Native, when you do some changes, mm -hmm maybe not adding libraries because then you would have to rebuild okay but uh, when you make some changes in javascript mm -hmm. or or this css which is uh, or you will add the screen mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to uh, rebuild yeah everything okay yeah, so, so so this is this is on a daily basis when you do it many many times during the day yes, sometimes it might be Imagine that you have to change uh, on your UI from five pixels to mm -hmm. ten pixels and mm -hmm. check if if um, the UI if it's as it looks like you mm -hmm. would like uh, to. Uh, then uh, on Xamarin you would like uh, you would have to rebuild it. And, okay. And in React Native you just shake your phone and press and reload. Or uh, you can sim simply enable automatic uh, refresh on uh, save mm -hmm. changes, mm -hmm. and then in your app it works. Yeah, maybe you you will have to navigate to that place mm -hmm. again, but still you don't it's need not... to recompile yeah. everything, and it doesn't take so long time. So okay. that that's the place which can save a lot of time. Okay, Radek. So, thank you very much for your answers. You. I think that they can, are very helpful for, for many people. And uh, yeah, uh, it's everything for today. So guys, thank you very much. Have fun. Have fun with React Native development. And if you have any additional questions, uh, anything uh, around mobile development, just ask us and we will answer with pleasure. Yep. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye.